government says a baby in the womb is not a person. And it also says what is in the womb is only part of a woman's body. And a woman has the right to terminate a pregnancy by killing the unborn. However, the Bible is clear that an unborn child is a creation of God. Jeremiah 1 says, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Look at Psalm 139. Thou hast covered me in my mother's womb, and I am fearfully and wonderfully made. God hates those that shed innocent blood, as stated in Proverbs 6. In Deuteronomy 27, God even curses those that shed the innocent blood. God says the killing of the unborn is murder. Exodus 21 speaks of capital punishment for those that cause the death of the unborn. Government and society say homosexuality is healthy and normal. God disagrees. Genesis 1 states that God created man, male and female. He also, in Genesis 1, told man and woman to be fruitful and multiply. In Leviticus, God called homosexuality an abomination, and in Romans 1, he called it a vile affection. There are many other scriptures I could have used, but these are from the Old and the New Testament and are very clear of God's perspective of life and homosexuality. There are also many other examples I could list, but let's look at our lives. Who do we serve, and who is our God? Is it the great creator God, or the things of this world? Abraham Lincoln stated, Sir, my concern is not whether God is on our side. My greatest concern is to be on God's side, for God is always right. Whose side are you on? Do you stand with God on moral and spiritual issues or against Him? It is inconsistent to claim that Christians can support things that the Word of God clearly says are wrong. Understand that we are not saved by works, but by faith in the perfect life and sacrifice of Jesus Christ. We will never be perfect or sinless in this present life. But do we want to be part of a counterfeit Christianity? A Christianity that says we are part of Christ when our hearts and lives are far from Him? Can a true Christian enjoy living in sin or knowingly support ungodly acts? Paul wrote in the book of Romans, Neither yield your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Guard your heart and your life, and be a true follower of Christ not a counterfeit. Remember what Jesus said in Matthew, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye who practice lawlessness. I end in these words from Jesus Christ, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. In his service, Ron Stangy.